Lavash is good with any food and lends itself especially well to dips and cheeses. Break off pieces of the crisp bread and put them in a basket and take them for a picnic. Also known as Armenian flatbread, lavash can be enjoyed soft as well. Use it as a wraparound bread for such fillings as hummus, cheese, or kebabs. To soften lavash, hold it under running water to wet both sides. Shake off the water and wrap the lavash in a towel for half an hour. Well, join me in Nalani's kitchen as we make lavash. For this recipe, we're going to need 1 and 1 fourth cup warm water. About a teaspoon of sugar. Two teaspoons of salt. One tablespoon of active dry yeast. Then four tablespoons of oil. Vegetables okay. And then finally, four cups of all-purpose flour. Alright, for the first step, we're going to add all five ingredients and half of the flour to the mixing bowl. So I got my water. And then I want to put my yeast. Then some sugars. And the salt. And then the oil. Now, while I got all those ingredients in there, I'm just going to give them a stir so everything is smooth. Then I'm going to add half of the flour. Using a wooden spoon, I'm going to stir all of the ingredients together until they're binded. You might have to use two hands. Then once they're all binded together, I'm going to use a dough hook to do the rest of the mixing and as well as add the rest of my flour. Just gonna turn it on and as you can see it's a little dry the dough while it's mixing in the mixer I'm just adding a little warm water to it so it binds together and you'll see it starts to hold together all right so once the dough starts pulling together just knead it there for about five minutes then when you're done kneading just take it out of the bowl the bowl should be clean because it sopped up all the flour. All right, then you may notice some creases there. You just want to smooth it out. Just lightly knead it just so you get all those creases out. And make it into a nice little ball. And there you go, a nice little ball. Smooth, yeah. After taking the dough out of the bowl, your bowl should be clean. It would have sopped up all that flour. Now we're going to butter our bowl very well. That's some butter. Once your bowl is all buttered, we're going to grab the dough and just coat it with the butter in the bowl on both sides. After it's all coated, we're going to cover it, put it in a warm place, and let rise for an hour and a half until doubled in size. Alright, it's doubled in size. Now my favorite part, getting ready. Punch the dough down. Punch it, punch it, punch it down. After it's all punched down, we're going to get a floured surface. Put it right on the floured surface and cut it into quarters, four equal sizes with the bread knife. Alright, so I'm going to bake two and I'm going to save two and just put it in the fridge, label a couple bags. save it for next time. It should last about a week to a week and a half in the fridge. If you're not going to use it too soon, put it in the freezer and just let thaw out before you bake. 
Alright, so I got my two pieces and I'm gonna put one aside and I'm gonna roll this one out into a rectangle. So we're gonna shape the doll into a rectangle sheet. You want it thin as possible, fitting the baking sheet you're using. So I'm just gonna keep on rolling this out. All right, that looks about good to me. I'm just gonna size it with my pan to make sure it fits. You don't want any pieces hanging over, so you can just cut it to fit the pan. So it fits in the pan perfectly. After cutting, just put it right in the pan. And then, time for another stress reliever. We're gonna poke the bugger. Poke, 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 poke them until there's a lot of holes. Right, so I poked it and there's a lot of holes. This is just so it doesn't bubble up in the oven. And then put it in the oven. Baking a 400 degree preheated oven for 20 minutes. You don't want it to let cool until cold. And then now, after it's cooled, you're going to break it into pieces. So just do it on your counter and break it into small pieces. And there you go, we got lavash. Don't forget to dip it in cheese or spread some butter on while you eat it. Thank you for visiting me at Milani's Kitchen and I hope you had a great time. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And follow me on Facebook at Milani's Kitchen.